Okay, the lesson today class is about Paul McIntyre. And I am actually standing at his uh, gravesite right now. Oh, wrong one. Uh, this is another picture of him. Oh, this is the dedication of um, the Lee Monument when it was done in uh, 1924. And there's a bit of a misconception about all of those white um, flags. Some people have said that those were KKK hoods. Those were not. They were white flags uh, that people were holding up. And that was Lee Park when it was being um, dedicated. So here's where I am right now, and I came to this cemetery not knowing where to find this um, monument, but since I had that picture, it made it so much easier because um, this is an absolutely beautiful downtown historic uh, cemetery. And if I well, if I turn this way, uh, we'll be looking over towards High Street and Jefferson Street. And he was born on High Street, uh, uh, just a few blocks from here. So I think it's kind of ironic that, you know, he was born and lived a lot of his life here in Charlottesville and then is buried just, you know, very close to where he was born. So this is, um, let me see, I actually wrote some notes today. This is the Maplewood Cemetery. And it's probably an extremely valuable piece of real estate now that Charlottesville has all grown up around it. And it's, you know, just a few blocks from downtown. So, let's see, I'm going to show you the other side. I have my iPad, so I've got, you know, like some historical things to show you. But this is the... Um, McIntyre headstone and he was born let's see here on May 28th 1860 and he died on July 2nd 1952 so uh, an interesting story that I came upon while I was looking through his um, information on his bio and everything is that um, let's see first off he was a Virginia Charlottesville Virginia native who attended the University of Virginia but he only attended for one semester because he wanted to go and um, make some money and get his fortune so he worked for the CNO Railroad for a while and then he en ended up in Chicago and he found out that he had a talent for working in the stock market, the stock exchanges. So he worked in the, he held seats on the Chicago and New York stock exchanges. And he was also a member of the French Legion of Honor, which I don't know what that is about, but you know, you can look it up and see if it, what it was. And um, so while he was in Chicago, they had the exposition of Chicago. And that was so famous that um, it was, um, you know, it, it, it basically influenced a lot of people into the modern age and, um, you know, science and technology and, you know, stuff like that. So um, he retired to his home in Charlottesville and his philanthropy focused on civic beautification, beginning with the Lewis and Clark Monument. And the Lee statue came in 1924. Um, oh, and <laughs> this is kind of interesting. I can find this. I think it's in this next one down here. Uh, McIntyre's only own history is entwined with Charlottesville. Well, born in um, 
1860, he grew up in a house on East High Street where the now chopped down Tarlington Oak grew. And that was a legendary tree in this town. And uh, it was like the biggest, oldest tree. And uh, there was some kind of rumor that um, George Washington sat under it. And it finally got so old that they had to take it down. And on that corner of High Street and Jefferson is a gas station. So I don't know if his childhood home is still around anywhere. And um, his father, George Malcolm McIntyre, was the mayor who surrendered the city to General George Custer's approaching Union troops. And some have speculated that his son's gift of Lee Park in honor of his parents was to help alleviate that painful memory. So, um, I thought that was pretty interesting. He lived to be 92, same age my dad was. He was a Gemini. And um, he ended up, his fortune, I mean, you know, he became a very, very wealthy man. And um, he distributed his fortune all over uh, Charlottesville in statues and um, the library um, at, um, well, two parks. There was the McIntyre Park and the George Washington. No, not George. It was the Booker T. Washington Park. I always thought it was George. But Booker T. Washington Park. And so he dedicated that park to the colored people. And then the um, McIntyre Park was for whites only. But you have to take all this in the context of the times. You know, that's just how things were back then. And um, he ended up donating in his philanthropic um, you know, endeavors in Charlottesville over a million and a half dollars. And those were in old dollars. You know, that wasn't like dollars of today. So, you know, that had to be just uh, an amazing amount of money. And he basically died without much left over. So, until I can think of something else to say, maybe I'll run over to that uh, park and show you the uh, Booker T. Washington Park. But that's about it for now.